Young Ailey Readers Alice in Wonderland Lewis Carroll Copyright Ailey 2009 It was a hot, hot day. Her boring sister was reading a boring book with no pictures. And Alice didn't know what to do. When suddenly she saw a white rabbit. Her sister didn't notice. Her sister didn't care. Alice got up and followed the rabbit. But rabbits live in holes under the ground, deep under the ground. It was a very deep hole. Alice fell and fell and fell. Until, finally, she reached the bottom. Where am I? thought Alice. It was a good question. Where was she? What was behind the little door? And what was in the bottle? These were also good questions. Alice knew it was a bad idea, but she did it just the same. She drank from the bottle and she grew smaller and smaller. Oh no! She didn't have the key. It was on the table. So? So, when she saw a little biscuit, she didn't know what it was, but she ate it anyway. This time, she grew bigger and bigger. Bigger or smaller? Smaller or bigger? What could she do? She didn't know. She started to cry. Big, big tears. What a curious day, thought Alice. Big or small? Bigger? And smaller. Perhaps I am a different person, and my name isn't Alice. The mouse told his story. It was a very sad story, and so everyone got dry. What a curious day, thought Alice. A sad story can get you dry. The rabbit came back. Marianne, Marianne, run on home and get my fan, he said. Run on home and get my fan. So she did. She went to the rabbit's house. She grew bigger again. It's a monster, the animals said. It's a snake. They threw little cakes at Monster Alice. I am not a monster, thought Alice. But who am I? What am I? She didn't know the answers. Who are you? What are you? I'm sure I don't know, said the caterpillar. Excuse me, I think I'm a little girl, replied Alice. Certainly, I was a little girl this morning. Little? I don't think you're little, said the caterpillar angrily. You look big to me. I think I'm only three inches tall. And it's a difficult size, 
Alice said. Difficult? 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 said the caterpillar as he walked away angrily. But if you don't like it, change. Eat one side and you get bigger. Eat the other side and you get smaller. Side? shouted Alice. Of the mushroom, replied the caterpillar and was gone. But which side? So she tried one side and grew smaller and smaller. The other side was no better. Look, children, said the mother bird to her children. That's a snake. I am not a snake, said Alice. Well, you look like a snake. So you are a snake, replied the bird and flew away. Later. Alice was an intelligent girl. She ate a little from one side of the mushroom and a little from the other side. And so, bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller, after a few minutes, she was the right size again. Down in the forest again, she saw a little house. She decided to go into the house and see who was there. Oh, it's you, said the Duchess when Alice was inside. Is it? said Alice. I'm glad. I thought it wasn't me. I'm cooking, said the Duchess. I'm making soup for the Queen. Hold the baby, said the Duchess, and gave her child to Alice. It wasn't a baby. It was a pig. Alice decided to leave the Duchess and her pig baby. She walked through the forest. When she was walking through the forest, she met the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat is a big, fat cat who knows where to go and who can disappear. Alice was feeling hungry, so she was happy to see the tea party. But when she tried to sit down, everyone moved. It's the stupidest party ever, said Alice. She walked back into the forest. Perhaps she could find a way home. What are you doing? Alice asked the men. We're painting the roses, the first one replied. The Queen doesn't like white roses. She hates white roses. The second one added, the Queen can kill us if she sees the white roses. What did he do? asked Alice. The Jack of Hearts stole some tarts one fine summer day. The Jack of Hearts brought back the tarts and told me what to say. He didn't keep the tarts, the Jack of Hearts. He brought them back again. So let him live and try to forgive. He's just a silly bird brain. No! Off with his head! The Queen of Hearts didn't have a heart. But Alice had a heart. She didn't want to see the Jack die.
It was a hot, hot day, and Alice was feeling sleepy.